This is an overview of the Polk Streetscape Project, a partnership between the San Francisco Planning Department, SFMTA, and Department of Public Works. The project focuses on improving Polk Street between Union and McAllister. The goals of the project are to create a green, vibrant street for all people visiting and living near Polk, to make Polk an inviting place to walk and bike, and to improve safety for everyone. The project encompasses transportation changes to the roadway of Polk Street, as well as streetscape changes to the sidewalk realm. Some of the reasons that this project was initiated are that Polk is an important transportation corridor. Polk's both important for Muni, uh, which the 19 runs along Polk Street and connects to BART and other uh, east-west Muni lines but also it's, it's an important bicycle corridor. Uh, Polk Street is the flattest, uh, what's the flattest north-south street in this vicinity and has less traffic and it is uh, therefore the most suitable bicycle route. There's also quite a number of people already walking on Polk Street and, and in fact the numbers of people walking are comparable to Valencia and the Mission and Irving in Inner Sunset. But Polk Street also has a high number of people being hit by cars, both people walking and people biking. In fact, the section of Polk Street south of California has three times the number of pedestrian and bicycle injury collisions than the section of Polk Street north of California. Polk Street's a thriving commercial district and we want to look to improve on uh, the safety of Polk to attract more people to this um, great commercial corridor um, and also to uh, build on and enhance that vibrancy. The project team has been uh, working with the community since uh, 2012 to come up with a uh, conceptual design that we're going to be sharing uh, through this video and that has already been shared at a public open house uh, in March. That conceptual design will go through uh, environmental review and will then be considered for approval by the SFMTA Board of Directors in the summer of 2014. The project will then undergo detailed design and is expected to begin construction in early 2016. A major focus of the project is on safety. Here we show uh, the range of pedestrian safety measures that will be installed on Polk Street as a result of the project. For example, all intersections will be upgraded to have high visibility continental crosswalks. Also, we'll ensure that all intersections have pedestrian countdown signals, all signalized intersections have pedestrian countdown signals. In fact, nine intersections on Polk Street don't currently have pedestrian countdown signals, which we'll add, and that's what you see at the yellow boxes. We'll also be adding a corner bulb outs at several locations so that we can shorten the crossing distance for people walking especially across the, some of the wide east-west arterial streets like Bush and Pine and Broadway, but also at streets like Geary where we see a lot of uh, people getting hit by cars. So we really want to focus on the areas where we can have the most impact with these bulb outs. The project plans to improve bicycling along Polk by establishing a green designated bike lane for the whole route, the whole length of the route, from the whole length of the project from Union to McAllister, that green bike lane will link up with uh, existing bike lanes uh, further south and to the protected green bike lanes on Market Street. In the northbound direction between McAllister and California, the project plans to install a protected bike lane, a raised cycle track, uh, adjacent to the curb. This raised cycle track will be wider than a typical bike lane. It will be raised to a height that is in between the height of the roadway and the height of the curb. So that will add a, an increased uh, level of uh, separation between moving vehicles and people bicycling. It will also be painted green to be highly visible. Between California and Broadway, the project will enhance the existing shared roadway markings by making them green 
uh, a lot of cyclists have reported that uh, the, the green back shadows, as we call them, uh, make them feel more comfortable. Um, they highlight the route. And also drivers have noted that the greenback shadows uh, increase their awareness of cyclists. Also on the segment between California and Broadway, the project plans to install a part-time bike lane so that during the weekdays between 7 and 10, there will be a designated uh, bike lane northbound on the east side of the street uh, by restricting parking during that time. Also, the project will in install greenback shadows between Broadway and Union. Now, these uh, north and south uh, bikeway enhancements on Polk Street will connect to the recent improvements on Lower Polk between Grove and Market, and also to the existing protected bike lanes on Market Street. The project will support vibrant neighborhoods by uh, improving the, the lighting and also by enhancing the alleys. Here we see where we plan on installing overhead catenary string lighting um, across some of the intersections and alleys to really draw attention in, uh, in, in a placemaking effort. There are also plans to improve uh, the alleys with some decorative paving, landscaping, um, seating elements on Frank Norris and Fern Alley that we'll get into in a little bit. Parts of Polk Street have already had um, some great landscaping and pe pedestrian scale lighting improvements. In 2009, the Department of Public Works uh, made these improvements between O'Farrell and Sacramento and uh, you see a lot of the trees and the lighting that they improved out there right now. So what this project will do will um, take that palette of improvements and continue them north of Sacramento all the way to Union and south of O'Farrell all the way to McAllister so that we have a continuous uh, landscaping all along Polk Street and also um, upgrade so that all the lighting is the pedestrian scale uh, ornamental lighting that you see down in the lower right. Beyond the safety and uh, public realm improvements of the project, the project will also repave um, the whole length of Polk Street from Beach up in uh, Fisherman's Wharf all the way down uh, into Civic Center so that the, the whole street is nice and smooth, all of the pavement uh, markings get refreshed, and all of the curb ramps are brought up to standard. Here we have a plan view of the proposal for the Russian Hill segment of Polk Street. These plans are also available on our website. And um, for now, I just wanted to highlight the southbound uh, green bike lane that I mentioned, as well as the catenary lighting that you see above the Bonita Alley, Greenback Sheros headed in the northbound direction, and also the bulb outs at Green Street. These plans that are available on the website actually show uh, all of the color curb changes that we're planning. That's yellow curbs for commercial loading, blue zones for accessible parking, uh, green zones for part-time, uh, for, sorry, for short-term uh, meter parking. And they also show the um, parking changes on each block. You'll see um, minus figures for how much parking might be removed or NC for no change. Here's a, uh, here's a rendering of uh, the intersection of Polk and Green before and after to show how uh, bull bounce and landscaping and uh, decorative paving can really enhance the vibrancy of the street. Similarly, bulb outs, uh, transit bulbs, can help to uh, establish uh, more space for people to wait for the bus or even just to linger on Polk and also uh, narrow the crossing distance for people crossing at the intersections and narrow the street which has been shown to slow traffic. At the intersection of Polk and Broadway where Broadway is uh, a pretty wide uh, 
swiftly moving east-west street. Uh, we plan on installing bulb outs to shorten the crossing distance and uh, improve safety. This cross section shows how uh, installing a bulb out on one side of the street shortens the crossing distance. Again, more plan view drawings that are available on our website and that showcase the details on each block that we're proposing. Here we have uh, a cross section of Polk Street showing existing conditions and what it'll look like between Broadway and California, where we're proposing to uh, add a bike lane in the southbound direction and to establish a part-time bike lane in the northbound direction, there on the bottom. Here is the plan view of the proposal for Lower Polk, where um, a number of improvements uh, will be installed to really focus uh, on safety down, in, as I mentioned, in the area of Polk Street that has uh, two-thirds of all the crashes on Polk Street happen in this area south of California Street. So we will be installing um, bike lanes in both directions. Um, that's a protected bikeway in the northbound direction. In the southbound direction, we'll be improving safety by separating turning vehicles from uh, people bicycling through the intersection and people walking through the intersection. And also by installing bulb outs at key locations like Bush and Pine and Geary, where uh, we have wide cross streets and we see uh, a pattern of people being hit by cars. You can also see in this plan view drawing some of the catenary lighting that's proposed, that's string lighting over Polk Street, as well as some of the alley improvements there on Fern, which we'll show in a little bit more detail. This cross section shows uh, existing conditions and proposed improvements at Fern Alley and on Polk Street at Bush Street. Note the uh, landscaping and seating improvements and decorative paving proposed at Fern Alley, as well as the bikeway improvements on Polk Street which effectively uh, narrow the street. Here's a rendering of those same improvements before and after. Similarly, here's a rendering before and after of Frank Norris. This is a concept that we will uh, continue to work with the nearby school on refining on how to improve their access between the school and the playground. The next steps for the project are for additional feedback uh, to be accepted at the SFMTA Transportation Engineering Public Hearing, which will happen later this summer, as well as the SFMTA Board of Directors meeting. The SFMTA Board of Directors is the body ultimately responsible for approving the project. All stakeholders who have been uh, involved in the project who have signed up on our email list or um, who have businesses along the corridor or residences where we'll be flyering will be given notice of both of these meetings. Also as we move closer to construction we'll be, share, we'll be sure to share detailed information with uh, local merchants and neighbors about um, the duration of construction, what the potential impacts could be, what the planned uh, changes are. Also, in the near term, since this project won't be constructed until early 2016, the SFMTA is going to install uh, safety uh, measures at uh, some intersections, some of the, the intersections with the most collisions, such as uh, temporary bulb outs to shorten crossing distances, as well as uh, intersection improvements uh, for bicyclists to improve safety. There are also other related efforts in the neighborhood, such as the Office of Economic and Workforce Development's Invest in Neighborhoods project, which has been working with uh, merchants on Polk Street as well as throughout the city on improving uh, the vibrancy of commercial districts. The planning department is also working with local neighbors uh, and stakeholders on temporary public space activation along Polk Street and, and some of its alleys. For more information, please visit uh, either the planning department's website or the SFMTA's website. All the materials that were shown in this presentation as well as more um, are available on both of these websites.